Well, I had to update it, first of all. The original book took place during the time of the Troubles. So I had to update it to contemporary times and I had to like, you know, reinvent, you know, the IRA and find out who was doing what. So it was really a matter of basically finding a relevance today and, and what was going on today. I also had to update the technology. So I took a lot of the enemy of the state stuff and, and put it in there so that it was much more contemporary. When I was writing, they were not attached, uh, but I imagined Jackie always for the for the picture. Pierce was was a, was a blessing. He, Pierce was brought in by Martin Campbell and, and his relationship with, you know, because of Goldeneye, and he was he was he was perfect. I mean, when I was writing it, I imagined somebody like Jerry Adams, and lo and behold, you know, suddenly we have somebody who looks very much like Jerry Adams. Total amazingness. I mean, he. I mean, as far as a writer, he completely brought my script up to another level. He was a wonderful man to work with, and uh, it was uh, a blessing. I've worked with many people, and he was by far one of the best. My role is not like uh, used to be comedy and uh, happy-go-lucky. It's a very, very quiet and uh, humble uh, old man, and hiding in. England, Chinatown, have a, a restaurant, that's all. A peaceful life, beautiful daughter, and somehow we just walk on the street, boom, my daughter get killed. Then I backing the British government, uh, the police station, they, yeah, you take, we do something. I just find out they're not fast enough. I have to do it myself. And the police try to stop me, nobody, Finally, nobody can stop me. Then they realize the Chinese old guy is not ordinary people. I've been trained for so many skills. Uh, even I owe, I have faced against a lot of bad guys because I want to stop them, not continue to killing the people. Uh, it's a serious role for me. Um, it's a big challenge, but I, I want the audience know I'm not only can do a rush hour, this kind of action comedy, I also can do a serious role. Very dramatic role, and when I speak the dialogue, so easy the tear com coming down. It, the movie, we, when you see the tear, tear coming down, it's not air drop, eye drop, it's a real. This amazing actor, and uh, I'm really thank you he helped me a lot. If everybody said, Jackie, this movie you're acting so good, he really helped me a lot. Uh, he just, on location or behind the scene, he always helped me rehearsal again and again. He just said, don't worry, Jackie, anything you don't know, tell me. And, uh, and he teach me British English. Uh, he uh, again and again let, let me know what he's speaking. Uh, I thank you, really thank you him. I don't know this guy. Uh, I just know he have a relationship with all the uh, bad guy, and he just uh, the peace spokesman. I want I want to know. Just give me the name. You give me the name, I let you go. He just he want to protect his people. I want the name. So this why. I just give him a little bit scary. I never heard his family. Just let him know I can do so many things. I can do a big damage, but I didn't. I just you know, uh, warning him. Yeah. You will see a different, another side of Jackie Chan. Rush hour. I see you next year. Probably uh, next next year. Uh, serious role. I see it now. I hope you can accept my role. Um, I'm not young anymore, I, I want to be a real actor. Well, it's, dead, it's very serious. I mean, you know, he's playing a straight role. Uh, none of what you've seen before with Jackie Chan. Um, and he plays a grieving father, someone who um, has lost his daughter, which I think is not a spoiler because you see all that on the uh, trailer. Um, and uh, he's terrific. What can I tell you? He's, he, he's, uh, he'll be a big surprise for everybody. Pierce is, is, is uh, he's terrific in this movie. Probably the best he's ever been. I, I sort of, he really 
Uh, he plays a, um, an Irish uh, minister, and uh, by that, a political you know, uh, minister. But he's, um, it was great working with him again, obviously. It's been a long time. We did Goldeneye together. Um, and uh, he's just one of those actors who is n turned into a superb actor. What can I tell you? And both with him and Jackie, the nicest possible combination you can think of. Honestly, I think they'll like it because both Pierce and Jackie are terrific in the movie. The whole cast is terrific, actually, really good. So, and uh, a lot of Irish actors in it because it deals with the IRA, is the kind of backdrop. Um, so, no, I, I hope they'll, I hope they'll enjoy it. Well, basically, I'm the um, the commander of SO15, which is um, the head of terrorism of Scotland Yard and um, and it's my case so basically I'm, I'm the one who's chasing them all for the bombing. I did work with um, with Jackie and um, he's, he's such a he's such a calm soul and also as well as a as a as a, a kid I remember watching things like um, the um, drunken master and stuff so we uh, we spoke a lot about that um, but you know he works. He works a hell of a lot, and um, because of a, a lot of the um, the physical stuff as well, he's um, he needs a lot of rest. So uh, he's 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 a bit of a I would say he's a bit of a workaholic because he goes from job to job in different countries, and um, you know it's sort of uh, for a chap who's how old is he now? 65, something like that. Yeah, I mean he, he's he's. He's doing very, very well, but he seems to come on the set and everything with a very, very calm demeanor and and, um, and works and is very friendly and, you know, very accessible. And um, no, it's, it's fantastic. Yeah, it was great to work with. One of the best screen directors I've worked with. Um, very thorough. Um, does his work a lot. Comes in about... He's another workaholic. <laughs> um, comes in about two hours before the crew, has everything, has all these shots ready, rehearses. Um, he's very much an access director, and um, he sort of he doesn't he doesn't really do stuff until it's right, and then when it's right, he he's very much works around the actors as well, so he makes actors feel very very comfortable. He he as I said he he rehearses and he has a very very concentrated atmosphere. And it's it's very quiet and um, and it's really it's 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 all really done for performance. So he gets he he gets the most out of he as he can out of the atmosphere. Um, so that actually you can actually do your job very very comfortably. And I think I auditioned for the movie and met Martin maybe a month previous. And then uh, we were cycling and I went into a shop and I just remember there was this magazine with Pierce Brosnan's face on it and I just felt I'm going to get a call today and I did. <laughs> I can't believe it. I play Sean Morrison. He is a nephew to Pierce Brosnan's character. And he is ex-Special Forces. He used to be in the army. Uh, but now he works, works for Pierce over in New York. But he gets flown back to Northern Ireland to, uh, to take on the m master that is Jackie Chan. Because um, apparently he's the only one that can take him down. I trained with Jackie's amazing stunt team for three weeks prior to doing the fight. Didn't train with, ja with Jackie. My first time meeting Jackie was the day that I was fighting him. So that was crazy and amazing and I'll, I'll never forget it. A pinch me moment. I still can't believe it's happened. I'll be sitting in there now watching the film thinking, that, who's that guy? You know, it's, um, it's honestly been the highlight of my career so far. Martin Campbell is a genius. He's fantastic. Um, he, in a movie like this that you know is predominantly an action film and you know there for entertainment he's managed to carve out very complex dynamic characters and every character is three dimensional and i think that's also down to his casting he's very lateral thinking in regards to casting like my role could have been cast very differently um, but the fact that he you know went for me i don't know why or what he saw but um, i think there's there's something in the way he thinks about character and in this genre of movie as well it's fantastic to keep a, an audience challenged and um, not kind of sticking to stereotype.